Steve Zonardi here with Treviso Homes and Treviso Realty. Uh, we're actually at the home right now that we're building. It's quite amazing where, where we've come from. We started, started July 8th, July 9th by scraping this slab. Today we are July 29th and as you can see we've done pretty much everything. We got all the block up, the roof trusses were flown over the weekend on Saturday, Sunday. They they, re, they uh, did the sheathing and today they're going to complete the rest of this roof. But let's have a look at this house. It's actually such a grand scale. Remember we're on an 80 foot wide lot. The building from corner to corner is 58 feet wide. So it's a very, very nice, nice uh, house. The layout's gonna be amazing. You can already see that how grand the house looks now because we're at 10 foot ceilings and then the foyer area here is about 14 feet high. So you kind of see you got like way better presence than any other house in this area. Well, this is definitely what we wanted to do, clearly. Um, here, we'll, we'll walk right through the garage. So tri triple garage, so obviously you got a one door here, one door there, but a double car and a single car there. So it's a full triple car. Like originally, we, we when we designed the plan to this property, it was gonna be a double car garage, but when, since we bought this lot, being on the canal, we wanted to make sure that we did everything we could to make this one of the best properties, so we did a third car. Um, and that's, this even like the small thing, like this side door, you don't see that too often here, especially with uh, when you're buying through a builder. So it's like we're bringing a little bit of the up north strategy here where you have a side door and it's a garage. Yeah, just watch a little lift here. Yeah, this is pretty much it. It's gonna be our master bedroom on that end. But this is gonna be we're, uh, three bedroom plus den and, um, and full three bathrooms. If you see here, this is gonna be our pool bath. You got shower, you got toilet and sink. And then this is gonna be access to the exterior of the property. So obviously we are putting a pool in the, in the home. So you can kind of util utilize this washroom, as number one, for everybody on the main floor that's visiting. And number two, uh, okay, the bedrooms that are closer to this area and then also uh, pool area. So when you're going in the pool, we have one of these in our house. We have a Roseland model by Polte. Uh, very, very amazing. It's awesome because I have a cold plunge. I can cold plunge and then just jump into the shower right in the morning, which is quite cool. Uh, the pool's under permit right now. So we should have hopefully in the next couple months, this should start digging and getting that done. Uh, I think the pool will probably get done around the same time as the house being totally finished. You kind of see here where we're at. Uh, yeah, beautiful layout. You got, this is what we did too. We took this design, these zero corner doors from uh, some of my favorite models of Polte, the Stellar model and, and the Mystique model. These zero corner doors make a, a huge difference when you're in the property. You kind of see here, um, once you once these doors slide in, they slide in the, in the, uh, the outside of the house, you're gonna have basically this whole open area. This whole open area will give you like the indoor outdoor, um, you know, resort feel, let's say. Really, really large uh, lanai area here, like the covered area. It's huge. It's good. It's gonna a great model. We kind of did everything we saw wrong with the, what the builders were doing. We kind of added to them. This is, this is a nice, nice area. Um, here, we'll take a look here. So the master bedroom is basically the whole side of the house here. So you got your, your bedroom with your sliders here. Yeah, you sliders here. Uh, into the backyard, and then ultimately, uh, bedroom. The bed should sit between this area here. It looks kind of tight. I can have the bedroom before we leave. And uh, then you got it's gonna be your water closet here. Oh, this is your so your walk in closet here. And then this is obviously uh, toilet. This is your shower, a transom one to bring in natural light, which is great even at this area. We're gonna have uh, sort of like a claw tub here, so it's closed. So you'll see the actual tub, like more of a modern feel to it. And then again, we have these nice trans windows where you don't have to let that, you know, put any shades on them or blinds. It's basically going to bring a natural light all the time. Um, and you can obviously have privacy when you're doing your business. Yeah, it's pretty nice, man, because it's, it's very surreal. Like, again, this is like, it's so free that this is happening to us. But um, yeah, this is the foyer area we're talking about. So this is 14 feet entranceway which kind of makes this look obviously a lot more um, grandiose a few more things here let's see um, you see in this area here so we did a tray ceiling in the master bedroom you see this how the roof trusses have that indentation how it goes up about uh, 12 inches so that's going to be like a coffered ceiling like a nice in-depth um, you know it's it's in-depth into this into the ceiling of itself so we didn't build boxes down we built boxes up which is great. So it obviously give you a nice, um, you know, some nice detail for the master bedroom. If you see this area here, again, same idea. 
going to be our fan interim area. So you see like how the roof trusses kind of step up. This is going to be our um, our tray ceilings basically. But again, but we didn't build boxes, we built them right into the roof. One more area. So people kind of wonder what this is here. There's an opening here. You kind of see this area here is similar idea with the copper and how it jumped up about two feet. So this is going to be where, where the um, the, the, the uh, HVAC units are going to be. So basically your air handler will be up into this area. So it'll be out of the way. It won't have any, uh, it won't have a room dedicated to it and wasted space. It'll be up in the, in this area here. This will be accessible. You'll see when you walk into the garage. Um, here, we can take a look. We'll go out the side door actually. We'll take a look at the back real quick. So you'll see all these different areas here. This is a, the fill zone. So basically there's a rebar. If you kind of see in that little hole, that's rebar going down. So this is obviously added support. And what this rebar is gonna do is it ties right up to the roof. So if there's any pull in the future, like a hurricane, it's, your roof won't be uh, taken off. So this is why, you know, like up north, we feel like our houses don't, don't have to face dangerous storms, but they do now, you know, like it is what it is and they're not built for it. But these guys are all built for I forgot what the, the wind um, rating is, but it's obviously going to deal with, with Cat 5 hurricanes with nobody's, like, no, like, no issues. Yeah. Yeah, so back here we're going to have the AC unit, clearly. Uh, one AC unit. We're going to have the pool equipment everything on the side here, because we have this nice little indentation here. We kind of hide away all the mechanicals. And, uh, yeah, this is the pool area. This is going to be pool area, so we're going to be doing... Uh, concrete block to concrete block, so full 58 feet. We're gonna bump it out. I believe it's about 20 feet. So just about here, and um, pool's gonna be 30 feet by 12 feet. And then you have all this decking area to to have you know parties and stuff like that. And let's not to mention, look at your view, right? Uh, if you kind of see, we're building a rendering right now, and we've actually highlighted this back area here. This is this is going to be. Is, Exact. So what we did is we basically made a digitized version of this house because we want to sell it clearly, and we got this exactly how it looks on the digital version. But let's let's take a look. I mean, this is the unique part of the property is uh, we're on a canal and we have this beautiful concrete deck. It's over 200 square feet. So I mean, ultimately you can do what you want here. Set up a nice patio, like chilling area. Even if you want to do some, you know, like even a cookout if you really wanted to, or even just have like a little maybe a gas fireplace here, or something like that kind of hang out um yeah it's pretty much it this is uh this is Treviso homes we're really proud of this product i think we're going to do extremely well based on on what our knowledge and, and construction clearly number two the, the delay on design we're building a very nice product um this is uh something we can be proud of something with some love you know so we'll see we'll keep you guys posted on the updates